the water keeps sloshing around or moving as I perform the movement which affects the stability so like my shoulders have to stay hello again it's Thanksgiving or Canadian Thanksgiving at least uh, I'm going to work out in the backyard my the weather's it's chilly but it's nice so after I do a workout I might go for a walk or a run or something like that we'll see what happens in any case uh, today there's going to be a lot of steel mace and kettlebell swinging probably some kettlebell juggling at the end since I haven't done it in a few days uh, but for the actual workout portion of uh, how things are going um, I want to use the hydro bag a little since I haven't used it since whenever the last episode I used it was and I also want to do some focus on overhead pressing um, so as usual it's going to be like a circuit or superset style workout and yeah let's get right to it. I'm going to need this too. Okay, so uh, for the first set of movements, doing uh, 10 360s on each side with my 25 pound mace. I find 360s or any sort of these like rotational movements or like these swinging movements a good way to detect imbalances between one side to the other. Uh, in any case, with the 25 pound kettlebell, I'm going to do 10 halos on each side. Then for the press or overhead press, using two 35 pound kettlebells to do alternate shoulder press for eight each side. So yeah, this is the first set of movements. Uh, going to do this for five sets. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I want all the circuits or supersets today to have an emphasis on overhead pressing or overhead movements in general. So yeah, that's probably going to be the recurring theme of the workout. So yeah, let's see how things go. For the next set of movements, uh, starting off with suitcase deadlifts. So, I'm going to do 10 deadlifts on each side. 
using my 79.4 pound kettlebell. <coughs> Switching sides. Then with my 15 pound mace going to do 15 alternate 10 to 2's single-handed After 15 uh, 10 to 2s, I'm going to do a kettlebell clean to shoulder press with an external rotation. So, uh, I'm going to clean, then I'm going to do a shoulder press, but as I shoulder press, I'm going to rotate outwards. to do uh, that three times on each side. <sighs> the act of rotating externally trains the ability of the spine to rotate. I'll explain what that means in a little bit more detail in a bit. So, uh, the body has the ability to both rotate side to side and bend side to side. And typically, with a lot of movements, we tend to stay facing forward and then just press up or with a push up. You know, like your spine is always straight with a bilateral squat, your spine is straight you're not really moving uh, side to side rotating or you're not bending side to side and so while that might not be advisable under heavy load so for example if you're doing like a 500 pound squat or something uh, it might not be ideal to be rotating or bending side to side but under manageable loads I think it is good to have a component within lifting that 
forces you to rotate side to side and bend side to side otherwise the spine gets too rigid and over time you uh, just feeling st uh, st end up start feeling stiff all the time and just uh, lose the ability of like bending side to side or rotating and then when weird life situations happen uh, where you do have to move that way you either get injured or it hurts really bad uh, in any case uh, this is what I'm doing for now I'm going to do five sets and then on to the next thing for the final set of movements before I move into some juggling uh, using my hydro bag to start so I'm going to snatch it up and in the overhead position I'm going to do four squats so if you guys haven't followed me for more than I guess 30 episodes or so this uh, bag is filled with water and there's about I don't know somewhere between 50 to 60 pounds of water in it the water keeps sloshing around or moving as I perform the movement which affects the stability so like my shoulders have to stay extremely active and contracted uh, and the stabilizers keep firing to keep the bag in position it also forces the core to stay a lot more active so uh, the overhead squat on its own is a pretty core intensive movement and with the water moving around it's its own ordeal then I'm going to do uh, a squat with a side bend so now resting it on my shoulder then at the depth of the squat I'm going to lean to one side bring it back center and come up so the act of leaning to one side forces all the water to one side of the bag which recruits a lot of stabilizers uh, and core muscles around the spine and in the trunk area to you know maintain balance and just keep you upright I'm going to do this five times on each side Then with the landmine, going to do a row to a press, or I don't know if it's like a clean. It's kind of a cleaning motion, but yeah, clean to press or row to press. So I don't know. I'll just call it a tactical clean. So uh, using the right hand, it's clean then go into a press with the left going for 10 
it's an explosive maneuver that forces you to transfer force from generated from the one side of the body into the other hand to press it So yeah, doing these two uh, movements or the hydro bag stuff and this for now I'm going to do four to five sets of it and then a mini juggling session before I go on a walk or something. Uh, so just uh, within this set of movements the overhead squat after the snatch has an overhead component to it and then with each clean to press the press is an overhead component but yeah on to the juggling so on to some kettlebell juggling I haven't juggled in a few days uh, that doesn't mean I haven't uh, juggled at all uh, I've been doing just really tiny bits here and there whenever I'm free just to kind of work on some new stuff uh, haven't landed anything new successfully though um, but yeah all of that's for later let's just go to the first sequence Not bad. Kind of sloppy, but I'll take that one. <sighs> because of the cooler weather, like every missed catch hurts a little extra, and it's making all of me a little bit more apprehensive of certain catches, and that's a recipe for disaster. <sighs> Uh, probably one more sequence and then going to head to the park.
<laughs> ah, whatever. That's all for today's video. I'm gonna go on a walk or something now. See you all tomorrow.